brazen overnight burglary at a popular sushi restaurant in Sacramento's Midtown. The owner of Makuni is now sharing their surveillance video, which you're watching here, saying they're out thousands of dollars tonight. Thanks for being with us at 10. I'm Ty Steele. And I'm Andrea Flores. The popular restaurant has nine locations across our area. KCRA 3's Andres Valle spoke to the restaurant's owner earlier this evening and joins us live now. So Andres, let's start with his reaction to the crime. It's not what some people might expect, right? Yeah, it's uh, definitely a different take on things. He's saying pretty positive about the whole thing, saying he's grateful that nobody got hurt during this burglary, saying that keeping his staff safe is always top of mind. Now, many people did hear about the setback, so they came out here tonight to support the restaurant. Good for them for bouncing back and, yeah. uh, you know, not Good thing no one's hurt. Exactly, yes, yeah, that yeah. nobody's hurt. It's about resilience, right? We have to come back from it. Makuni Sushi in Sacramento's Midtown bouncing back after thieves broke into the restaurant's safe. Surveillance camera footage shared with KCRA 3 showed two men walking through the restaurant, one of them wearing a white hat and the other wearing a blue UCLA baseball cap, finding the office door. I broke the office door and then got in and got the safe and then got all the money out. It's thousands and dollars, yeah. Despite that loss, Taro Rai, the owner of the restaurant, is starting with a perspective of gratitude that none of his staff got hurt. They're like my family members. And through COVID, through all these, we want to make sure we do our best to take care of them. So that's the first thing, safety. And then that's why I was so happy that nobody was harmed. Restaurant goers making it a point to support the restaurant. I mean, I think it's more important because the stuff happens, but also just making sure to get out and support them because you never know when this stuff happens. I work right here in SAC at uh, Fox and Goose, just out on 10th and R. So like if something happened like that, I would hope that, you know, the public would come out and support. So I'm glad we're here tonight. Yeah. It kind of works out that we're here to support them immediately after it happens. But Taro overwhelmed with the support. Even though thousand dollars are taken, I know our community has been supporting us for all these years and they will continue to help us. So I'm more thankful than what happened. Now, Taro also told me that he learned a lot of valuable lessons through this whole thing, seeing that material things are replaceable, but the well-being of others and, of course, experiences are what matter the most. Live in Midtown, I'm Andres Valle for KCRA 3 News. You really can't put a price on health or safety at all. All right, Andres, thank you so much.